everybody, Cousin Jim. Headed out for a day and a half trip on the Grande. Just like every trip, always starts right here at the bait barge. We'll be picking up bait. I'm in their way here, so I'm gonna step back. But just like all the other Grande trips, start off at the bait barge. Here they are working the bait. Gonna take two, three hundred scoops, run it around into the bait pan. It's a lot of work getting prepared to go fishing, but it's a lot of fun. All right, front of the boat, Jack's on. First fish of the, first fish of the trip. He's got him. Is it fighting like a halibut? No. It's a bit. Oh, look at that. Hold on. <laughs> oh, dude, that thing's beefy. All right, man. What's what's yeah. your name? Jack. And what tackle shop you working out of? Smith Access. All right, nice looking fish. <laughs> Here, hold him up. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jack. Nice fish, man. Oh yeah. Hey everybody. Here's the crew. Here's the bumps that we slept in. The um, are just stacked in like sardines. Been about 10 hours from just getting to the uh, fishing grounds now the boat's been motoring around positioning there's an engine change so everybody's getting up well we're finally out here at a place called tanner bank say it again yeah it's tight we got birds working right over here we're anchored up which surprises me because I didn't think we'd be anchoring out here. Let's go here, guys. You were trying. Start throwing a little bit of bait slowly. Ones and twos. Anchored up here. So we're here. It's time go to start fishing. Try. There's there's lots of people here. Look at all these boats. Surprises me. The fleet's out here. Everybody from San Diego, probably all the way to Ventura is out here. Hopefully the fish are out here. So Vincent started the trip off with a sheep's head. We're in about 180 feet of water, I think. Yes. So what'd you catch him on, Vincent? Sheep head. Nice Sheep. one. Yep, sheep's head from the bottom. All right, first tuna on board. Uh, yeah. All right. yeah. All right, buddy, yeah. good job. Yeah. First one. Yeah. First tuna. First tuna in the boat. All right, got a fish on. I'm coming. No problem. You notice how everyone is working together over and under so that the person with the fish can work it well. There's lots of tangles, but they all seem to get straightened out without too many lost fish. He's taking some line now. Nah, yeah, there he How just he decided to wake up now. I'm doing it right now. All right. Yep. Got my rod bent. Yeah. 
And there he goes again. These fish can take anywhere from 10 minutes to a couple of hours to land. Time to change that bait anyway, even with those guys. Keep them away from here. Come on. Come back this way. I even took a mackerel out of there. I heard it. I'm back. I get a couple of feet. He takes a couple of feet. He's still going. Come on. I'm getting nothing on him. Let me drive real quick. It's not my rod, didn't want to do it. It's a good cool rod. Yep. You guys know it. He's Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Come up. Come on. As you can see, I've got really good technique. The two speed was broken on this, so I only have a one speed reel. So I pump and wind, keep the rod tip bent the entire time. This fish has given me as much fight as he possibly can. Don't go that way, come this way. Thank you. Step on down. What's that? Step on down. Okay. Yeah, when it starts going under the boat like that, you want to keep it under your armpit. That way if he goes under the boat, you can lean down and out with it. Right, right, right. Down. Try to get away from the boat. get a crank and he gets takes it right back ouch <laughs> how much mono does this have on it any idea what's that I haven't seen him yet. He's going out again. Huh? 
Oh. Twice the pull. Get on your armpit. Get on your armpit right now. There we go. Lean on the rail. Just lean on the rail. I'm gonna click this one. Make it easier. I gotta go. When you lean out over the rail with the rod up under your armpit, it's because the fish has gone under the boat and you don't want your line to touch the hull of the boat. So that's the reason for that technique. won't stay in. Yeah, I don't think it All right, my two speed button isn't working. So we'll just get him up here. Come on, buddy, come this way. Come back around. Oh, there it goes. He's heavy again. Is this a little bigger fish than those other ones? I don't know. Yes, sir. Once again, the fish is headed under the boat. I've got to put it under my arm, lean out over the rail to keep the line from touching the hull. Come on. Maybe. I'm having fun though. I can't wind, he's still taking line. Coming back, guys, sorry. Holy shit. He's digging, look at that pulsing. Here we go, run him up there. Here I hand the rod to the mate. The fish was taking off towards the anchor at a rapid pace, so I handed it to the mate. Sometimes a fresh arm on it will get the fish to stop right there where you want it. Got the crew fighting for me now, taking a little break. Down to 30. I'm gonna go down to 45. Yeah. Ready? Yep. It's right there. Yeah. Oh, I see. Him. <clears throat> oh, stay out here. I got it. Make sure you keep it under your armpit how I had it. Just keep doing that short pump. I 
thought I had it. <laughs> Everything you got, I just gave him back. One more time. Here he comes. All right, there he is. My first fish of the trip. Looking good, flopping on the deck. Thank you. What number are you, Jim? 20. 20. Right in the corner of the mouth where the circle hook's supposed to be. I wonder what happened that one time when it felt like he let loose. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks man. Welcome. So after you catch the fish, cut the gills out, gut him, and then he goes in an ice box. And it'll cool him right down, have some great sushi later on tonight. Or probably tomorrow since we're still fishing tonight. So to keep your fish, no thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it though. The mate just offered me the heart to honor the fish, but I passed this time around. If he weighed 200, I would. If he weighed 200, I'd still be fighting him for four more hours. That's right here, guys. There he goes. Fresh bait. All right, Daryl. All right, Daryl's got one on in the corner. Find in, get a new bait. Yeah, I just got a bait that finally swam out. <laughs> I'm falling that line all the way down. Yeah, I am. I just was trying to stay out of the way there for a second. <laughs> Under. I'm wrapped around him. You got it. See how everybody works together. The mates have full control of the railing, keeping the rods untangled. They do a great job. It's a young crew on the Grande, but they do a great job. <laughs> 